so much for clicking on my video, first of all. Thank you for the people that got those notifications turned on. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. Because you just got notified that uh, Snippets of Marie uploaded a video. Yes, your girl uploaded a video. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, y'all. I'm getting there. But I do have a fun challenge that's going to be incorporated into this video and i just need you to count how many times i look over to myself and i look over to y'all because i'm really trying to focus on you guys and it's hard like if anybody know like any youtubers out there especially starting off and you doing on your phone it's hard to look at the camera and not look at yourself because you see yourself in your peripheral and you just want to go and look at yourself but come drop down in the comment section how many times i do this I talk to y'all this way. Okay, come ahead. So no start it. Just just for minutes go. Start it after the video. You know, after I say start, okay? <laughs> but today's video is simply gonna be just a QA question. Um, Q and A, just a couple questions so you get to know me and get to know what's what you should expect from my channel, what's upcoming, okay? So let's get right into the video. Okay, you guys. So basically I just looked up a couple questions I found on the internet. Uh, for upcoming YouTubers, some of the questions I can't really answer because I'm not that deep into YouTube yet. I just got about three videos out. But I'm going to answer as many of them as I can so you guys get to know a little bit more about me. And if you want a part two to this video and you have questions that you want to ask me that you want me to answer, just drop them down in the comment section below, okay? So the first one is, what is your name and the name of your channel? So my name is Jasmine and the name of my channel is Snippets of Marie. So, the next one is, what does the name of your channel mean? Um, basically, one part of my channel is going to be vlogs. So, I was thinking like, well, let's go back. The first, when I first thought about doing YouTube, I wanted to do strictly vlogs. So, when I came up with the name Snippets of Marie, it was basically just a meaning of you was going to get a snippet of Marie, which is my middle name. Um, a snippet of my life, just my everyday journey and everything like that. So, yeah. Um, where are you from? I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Um, from South Memphis, if you want to go that deep. But I am from Memphis, Tennessee. Born and raised here. Hopefully not here forever. You know, husband. Come on and pick your girl up and we can move. Um, what will your channel be about? So my channel will be mostly about lifestyle um, videos, vlogs, and try on hauls. It's not going to be so girly, but it's not going to be just so catered, just all out the blue. I'm really going stick to the, stick within those three categories. Um, I will do challenges here and there. Actually, I have a video that me and my girls did that we'll be dropping after this one. So you guys can see that's a challenge video that we did, but... Yeah, so those basic lifestyle vlogs and drones. Um, <clears throat> boom, 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 boom. My top three favorite YouTubes, YouTubers. Um, I don't really have favorite YouTube. I have two. And those are the only two that I literally watch on YouTube. Like, I watch other people, but the people that I continuously watch on YouTube, the first one is the Ellis's. I love the Ellis's just because I'm a big fan of family vlogs. Like, I love family vlogs. I'm not a huge fan of, like, the prank vlogs and all that other stuff. I ain't got time for this. I need to see family. I need to see black love. I need to see black excellence. I need to see all that. So, the Ellis's is one thing that I, one of the people that I watch. And the other is 85 South Show, which is really not, like, a vlog YouTube type thing. It's basically like a podcast. But I love the 85 South Show. Um, who inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Basically, I'm going to say my friends and my mom. My best friends and my mom were just, I kept shooting the idea out to them. And it was like, do it. Like, what you waiting on? And y'all don't know how long it took me to start this channel. I've been talking for, I've been talking about starting a channel for about two years. And I kept procrastinating, kept like, no, I don't want to do it. Oh, I'm in school. I got to finish school. That's my main thing. And I realized balancing all three work school and YouTube is hard, but I'm doing it, okay? I'm doing it. Um, boom, boom. I'm just trying to go through the... Most of these I can't really answer because 
Um, I'm not the deepest for YouTube yet. I know y'all, I know y'all see me look at myself. I'm going ahead and give y'all this one. That's one, okay? Because it's hard, y'all. It is hard. Um, who is your best friend? I have three. Three best friends that I can count on for whatever the situation may be. For whenever, I remember calling one of my best friends at 3 o'clock in the morning. Because I was heartbroken over this. Now I'm going to go there. But I was heartbroken and I called her. And she's she lives in Miami. She lives in Florida. And she's an hour ahead. So it was 4 a.m. her time. And she answered for me. So shout out to Errol. That's one of my best friends. Calissa is another best friend. And Anika. Those three are my, my three best friends. We've been friends for a very long time. Me and Errol been friends for... We've been out of school for 10. I know her before then. Oh, rhymes, bars, bars. Um, no, but I think I've been friends with Arrow for probably 14 or 15 years. Um, Anika, I want to say around the same time, 14 and 15 years, because we actually, fun fact, we actually live next door to each other. Not even knowing for a little bit that we live next door to each other, but when we got some maids, that's when I, in seventh grade, that's when I met her and I found out she lived next door. Um... Calissa, I really trying to think. Me and Calissa, um, I want to say it's probably around nine years. Yeah, I would say nine years with Calissa because um, her and Anika were friends, and then she came into you know the friend group hanging out with us, and me and Calissa started to know each other more. But yeah, nine and 14, 15 years. Yeah, it's a long time. But those are my best friends. Those are my best friends. My thing is gonna die. Lord, no. Um, where? How tall are you? I'm not very tall at all. I'm very short. I'm about five, five to five, six. I'm gonna give myself five, six, but I'm gonna go ahead and say five, five. Yeah. Dogs or cats? Funny you may ask, because I was afraid of both. I'm spitting these bars, y'all. I'm spitting these bars. No, but. Dogs or cats, I used to be afraid of both back in the day. Like, I used to be terrified. Um, but I love dogs now. Like, I really want one of my own. But I'm still I'm still scared of them damn cats. I have a nephew. His name is Junie. He's a cat. Um, I love him without my heart, but I won't be around him. Mm -mm. Shout out to Junie. Hey, baby. But I won't be around him much. Uh, funniest moments throughout high school high school wow um high school is to think about it to actually bring it up it makes 10 years in may that i've graduated from high school but i want to say my most fun memories and favorite memories in high school have to be the truck if anybody know arrow truck all my subscribers that know me from high school and stuff, y'all know Aero Truck was the spot. So after school, Aero Truck, there's so many memories, so many stories to tell, but that was my funnest. That was like that was the that was the top. Uh what year were you born? I was born in 93. I'm a 90s baby. Um what is your favorite drink? My favorite drink non-alcoholic is a ginger ale canada dry don't you give me no other kind but canada dry um my favorite alcoholic drink i'm gonna go ahead shout out wesley because he don't put me on it is a hennessy and pineapple that's like my favorite alcoholic drink at first at first it was jack and coke i used to be a jack and coke girl like everywhere we went jack and coke jack and coke jack and coke but we end up where did we go sage Anybody been to Sage, make sure you go. If you haven't been to Sage, make sure you go. But um, we went to Sage, me and Wesley, and I was so torn between what I wanted because I wanted to get out of the Jack and the Crown and all that. And he ordered for me. He was like, oh, can we get? And I was like, can we? Why are you just going to order for me? But anyway, we end up, he ended up giving me a Hennessy and pineapple, and I loved it. I loved it. You know what? That wasn't the first place. We had that drink. Where did we... Where did we go? Uh, Fox and Hound. Fox and Hound is one of the first time we had that drink. Yeah. Um, 
What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a giraffe. Surprisingly, I love giraffes. Like one day I want to go to, um, it's a little place in Africa where you can actually like stay at a hotel and feed the, the giraffes, come up to the window and you can feed them. Um, what are your life goals? Boom, that's a question. Uh, one of my life goals is to go ahead and finish school. I'm so close, y'all just don't understand. Um, but I major in psychology and I want to be a forensic psychologist. I want to analyze people. I want to get to in your brain and get to know what you're thinking, your behaviors, all that type of stuff. I love that stuff. That's why I be sitting in the corner, peeping, peeping, peeping. Because that's what I want to do. What is your favorite movie? Hands down, my favorite movie is Brown Sugar. I can watch Brown Sugar all day long, honey. All day long, Brown Sugar is my movie. My second favorite movie would have to be... It's, it's so bad that this is one of the candidates. But it has to be between what love got to do with it and, and love and basketball. It's between them two because... I can, I can word, I can tell you everything, word from word, for, um, uh, what love got to do with it. Y'all just don't know. Um, what is your idea of a dream date? That getting personal in these questions. Um, my idea for a dream date, um, it's hard. I'm really trying to think. I wouldn't mind, like, I don't like the traditional dates. I don't like movies and dinners. I don't like anything. Like, do something that's outside of the box. Like, let's go and paint something. Let's go wine tasting, a winery, anything like that. But I would say my dream date, like, just just because I like fun things and I love just talking, you know, I don't like awkward situations. It was just sitting there like, so what are we going to talk about? No, take me to the arcade. Like, but don't take when there's a whole bunch of people. Uh, I ain't got time for all that. Take me like when it first opened so we can have a place ourselves so I could beat you in every game. And then plan us like a nice little picnic somewhere so we can sit and talk and laugh, play some board games, stuff like that. Like, I just love fun dates. Um... What is your go-to fast food order? My <laughs> my go-to fast food order is from Chick Fil A. It's gonna be a number two, the spicy chicken sandwich with fries in a sprite with no ice, and uh, I like the sriracha and um, the Chick Fil A sauce. If y'all mix them together, go and come in in the comment section below when you try it. Go ahead and tell me how you feel because it's going to change your life. It's going to change your life. <clears throat> um, any bad habits? I tend to cut people off. And I, I, I recently realized that. Like somebody could be talking to me and I will cut them off. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, but I got to get this thought out because if I don't get it out, I'm not going to remember. But I really don't have any bad habits. Um... I know my friends probably coming in the comment section. It's cool. Uh, tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Um, I don't. I don't really know. I'm afraid of heights. Like I'm terrified of heights. I don't ride roller coasters. I don't like being high up into buildings. Like we go to a hotel. We went to Houston. Me and Carlissa went to Houston uh, about two years ago. Two three years ago. Cause we were gonna, we was going to move to Houston, and we was going down there looking for apartments. And we stayed in this beautiful hotel. We did not ask for any type of suite, any luxury, anything. We literally just stayed there because we were looking for apartments. And so we stayed. We walked into. Let me tell you how bougie the whole little experience was. We looking for our room, and we see like the numbers stop, like the end of the hallway numbers stop, but our room was supposed to be in this direction. So we was like, okay, what's going on? So it was like these double doors. 
And so we opened up the double doors and lo and behold, it was one room to itself in the corner and it was our room. And I was like, hold on, before we open it up, it seemed a little sketchy, but let's go ahead and do it. You know, can't be too bad. So we walked into the room and it was like this huge corner suite. Like the half of the room was glass. It was gorgeous. It was beautiful. Like the scenery and everything was beautiful. But we were like on the 20th floor and I was scared. Like I hated it. It was a beautiful, beautiful view, but I was so scared. I was so nervous. Um, I'm going to answer two more. What is your go-to hairstyle? This. Middle part, bone straight is my go-to. You will always see me in this. You know, you might see me in curly hair, braids, some, 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 every now and then. But my go-to is definitely this. Um, and... Um, what's the last one? Are you single or are you taken? Hmm. You guys will never know. Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm so sorry. Y'all know it's a thing with me that I look here, I look at myself, and I don't look at y'all. But I'm really going to try to focus on y'all today because y'all are important to me. Y'all are important to me. But with all that being said, today's video is basically going to be... <laughs> 